Hey, we're moving on to top eight. Here we are in the loser's side, our first loser's eight round. Three, and uh, two, we unfortunately one, will not be getting the Incineroar ditto. Yes. Between these two titans of Jersey, it's going to be KGP and Judd. We are two catch short of what was expected, but nonetheless, this is going to be a very interesting set. This matchup gets real grisly. These two characters, yeah, I mean, you know, Kazu either gets spaced out and oppressed in the corner, or Cloud gets... Hit. Yeah, touched. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good though because Cloud has easy manners. Um, not only keeping Kazuya out with these back airs, unfortunate use of the limit, not keeping track of the meter. But also, I love how KGP has been using these down airs as a means of auto canceling and in threatening, uh, threatening some anti airs coming out from Gut with a heavy uh, sword out of the corner. corner. What? The forty damage? I I played Kazuya and I'll never understand. Ooh, good stuff. Yeah, KGP uh, taking a lot of advantage of, you know, that cloud back air. Always been hard for Shotos to deal with, but Kazuya in particular, I mean, he doesn't really have a Tatsu. He doesn't have a button that can break that space in a way that feels comfortable for him. So he just kind of has to hold those back airs and wait and find his openings in more honest ways, or just electric wind god fist through the back air, which can be a little bit scary. Yeah, if there's anything that Kazuya has is another whiff to limit coming out from KGP. Gotta be careful with those, as we know what Judd's looking for with so many of these grabs. Wow, that was a huge up smash. If, uh, unfortunately, Judd got the 10 hit combo and didn't get the max range jab 3. So I, I think jab 3 would have actually connected first there. Flash punch combo. Yes. I love some of the, the Tekken move names. Yeah. They're so good as that will just, just be a forward throw. No They're rage, so, so not going to commit to the up throw, potentially not killing. Oh. Ooh, that's going to be a big up air up tilt. Jeff finds his way back to the ground, but gets frame trap, rolls into the. Oh, that finishing touch is so dirty. That's two that KGP has landed now. He has found openings and a great patience in shield. You're forcing Jut into this position where if he's not a good back air there on the right, a uh, good rising back air to catch the uh, the mid air cloud, but if you're not able to do things like the command dash through some of KGP's uh, walled out aerials, then you're in a real pickle here at such a huge deficit. And we haven't even seen one electric come out from Jut. There's no opportunity oh, to, and he counter. won't even get the chance to. Yeah. KGP demonstrating a lot of prowess and playing Cloud versus scary contact characters there. Just spacing out really well, using the platforms really well. Yeah. I feel like there were a lot of points where uh, he didn't get his frame trap and he was like, okay, I'm just going to wait, settle for this slightly delayed back air. Got you right there in the corner. And uh, Judd just not taking his time as much as he needs to in a matchup like this, unfortunately. Things can get really nerve wracking. The plant pick? Okay. Interesting. So this Interesting. is a, this is a weird one, but Plant has Plant has okay. <laughs> Shout out to production with the with, with the facts because this this plant does have some notable back when Jut used to compete regularly. This plant was a viable secondary that had PR wins. Oh, okay. And it comes down to a couple things. One, uh, plant does have a frame two jab. The two E is crazy. Yes. Uh, so ledge trapping is is not bad, and. Uh, Plant's dash attack is surprisingly active, which can make for a lot of difference when breaking that zone that KGP had, was setting up so well in game one. Yeah, absolutely. A uh, small problem I feel like we're going to run into, though, is once again, uh, Plant is a character that's going to have a hard time getting down. So KGP's advantages in this matchup are going to feel about the same. So if Judd isn't able to pull things together in neutral and kind of pull ahead, uh, in places that he wasn't able to with Kazuya, things are going to go like they're going right now, a little rough. Yeah, and it feels like just this easy pressure and easy extensions that KGP is able to take advantage of. Like just putting a down air at ledge. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't even matter because you're not punished. You can still set up for the back airs anyway, yep. but you're still applying that two frame pressure that Jut has to play around and work Ooh. around mentally. No! <laughs> Thank you, Smash Ultimate, for raising the blast zones when people hit a certain speed limit. Why? Why, why, why does I, it do I that? I never understand that decision. <laughs> they want you to die. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Makes sense. It's just unfortunate for certain moves. Like, you can get... Uh, that, that was just an unfortunate situation. And I, I think maybe didn't even want the ledge slip down B? Maybe. I, that seems super risky. But, I mean, it's risks that you have to take when you're down, and KGP 
Oh, oh not another one. Oh, okay, nice great tech. tech. Great tech. And the up throw will do it yep. as well. As just before limit was on deck two. I mean, this is... It's tantalizing, but Cloud can be riding on thin ice with some of these edge guards, but Plant is not a notable edge guarding character. Yeah. So trying to secure that on Cloud is, can be surprisingly difficult with your limited range of options at that point. Absolutely. It's like if you don't already have a really good trap set up, um, things can get really scary. And it's difficult for Plant to hit Platui on Cloud, right? Because Climb Hazard has such a big range, it ends up clanking a lot of the time. Right. Cloud is just... I mean, not only is it the character, but it's how KGP is piloting the character. I mean, Cloud is not a character that's massively complex, but it's what you do with the with these buttons that can cover a variety of options and can be used a variety of ways. Yeah. As we saw earlier, Cloud Down Air can be used very well when landing, yep. but it's equally as strong as an offensive tool just as it is a defensive tool. Oh, yeah. I, as a two-frame option, it's so scary, and especially with the landing lag cuts across the board in Ultimate, it's such a nice almost falcon stomp with a sword, right? Where you just put it through the stage and then you're able to just decide, all right, did it hit, did it not hit? Even if you get the sour spot you can just react from there and begin to you know find answers really quickly and trap people really quickly um it, it just makes things a lot harder especially for characters who have that slower you know almost hitboxes recovery it's not like piranha plant has no hitbox but with the small hitboxes on the side you're not getting away from a character like cloud no no sir and then an immediate change of pace here not only in stage but KGB drops down with a grab, just like constantly trying to mix Judd up into what he's doing on hit. And on a stage like this, trapping around with Cloud up to, which is such a good move. Okay, that hit. That was a very <laughs> good blade beam. Right, goes for the gentleman. Instead, just tries to set up Tui down to the forward air. You have to make it, take advantage of this if you're just can't let KGP get out of the corner, which he does by choosing his options quickly and not letting Plank get set up. Yeah, it was a lot of corner pressure and a lot of good damage from Judd. Finds himself back in this position again. He's going to have to max out here, though. KGP almost at limit, finds that up B into up air off the ledge and has limit now, but doesn't confirm the side B is going to end up dying for missing that tech. A bit unfortunate. Shot getting away with murder there. <laughs> Hard tech to hit. It can be awkward to know how many hits of plant up B that you're getting hit by at all. Oh, yep. armors through the back air. That was huge in order to sustain your uh, sustain your life and try to utilize your counter pick a little bit more. While this stage may look like Smashville, in a lot of ways it kind of is. Uh, it's, wow. It's a stage that has FD blast zones, which means you can survive a little bit more. But not against that cross smash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially not that far out. Wow, coming back down with the up B. I like that to deny the jump. Another up B. Yeah, that button's going to be really hard for Plant to deal with unless you're just sitting in shield. And even then, it can be hard to whiff punish Plant. Not really having the greatest zone breakers. The dash attack is it's decent, but it's not amazing. Yeah, it's great when it's used. It's great when it's used on ledge because you can cover roll and neutral get up with it. But in terms of mid screen, you're not loving it. Yeah, exactly. We see uh, Cloud doing a lot of classic Cloud things right now, just kind of getting away with making a character hate the fact that they're slower than he is. Yeah. Oh, looking hard for that roll read, but not going to get punished too hard. That back throw won't do it and wasn't in kill percent range. Now we could be an up throw percent. No, those FD blast zones coming in clutch. Just for the wrong person. I mean, this was Kit Just counter pick after all. That's going to be a huge dash attack. The Patui timing almost works out, but puts enough fear into KGP that he ends up getting away. Got the roll in on the back air, and usually that implies an up smash is coming out. But KGP didn't commit to the uh, didn't commit to the setup. Very good escape, just running out of that corner, keeping it honest. No need to roll or anything too complicated, or give Cloud an opportunity to hit. With another dash attack on the whip blade beam, and another neutral getup comes out from KGP, and it's caught by the down tilt. That cross slash yeah. ought to do it, and it will. 50% and some time to charge limit, but you have to be 
very careful if you're if you're KGP. It's I mean 67 going for oh, the yeah. climb hazard setup. That timing was almost perfect too. Scary stuff. Nice delayed getup attack. We see Sharp running up and just kind of continuing to run into uh, KGP on that tech chase twice now. This is looking scary. Limit and the juggle situation. Judd finds his way back down and finds a dash attack. Things are looking a little bit better now. 120 goes for a high recovery. I love that from a setup from Judd. Just not able to find the timing on the neutral getup that time with the forward smash. And now you're oh. recovering as planned. And while there may be a hitbox on the side, that big stem is just is free the for the chopping. Yeah. Chopped it did. It's sad, too, because that move is so slow that I feel like if Shut had opted to up be straight up and then curve into the stage, KGP just back yeah. <laughs> and reacts in time because of how quick downer is comparatively to the travel time of plan up B. Yeah, especially with the, the choice to go for a down air there and attempt to, even if it was just a faint punish, yeah. it, you're giving Kyle time to set up. You're giving, like, I'm going to turn around, set yep. up on ledge, like, react to what you're doing and yeah. just giving Kyle that time, excuse me, KGP, that time to set up and to mentally assess the situation is inevitably what got uh, KGP the three up. Yeah, things really working out on KGP's end, playing a very hot run this tournament. Yeah. Unfortunately, we were two cats short of what was expected, but nonetheless a great set there. Yeah, super enjoying that uh, the flexibility that has come with KGP's character pool and seeing the cloud almost reach that same level as the Incineroar, which was able to get uh, KGP further in brackets yeah. in the majority of the brackets they entered prior, but with the cloud, with more VODs to access, with more faith in the character being a true force in the metagame, we can see what another cloud can do as he attempts to be the best cloud man in Jersey. Yeah, it's cool stuff. I, I feel like he always had a very unique cloud, even in Smash 4, and used forward air a lot more than almost any of the clouds in Smash 4 did, I maybe agree. just because the move looks cool. So now that it's actually a good move, we see him putting it in so many crazy spots that are netting him so much reward, and he's kind of starting to come back into his roots and realize all the old tech and also like a lot of the newer stuff he can do. We see him adjusting to how broken Climb Hazard is really well, oh, yeah. just really maxing out on his use of that button. Hope to see more from KGP's run later in this Scarlet Classic as we move on to our next set.